France has been in the spotlight because of Olympics recently, but today we are going to talk about new tax on wealthy that they are proposing. Hi, my name is Rusudan. For more than three years, I have been working with Nomad Capitalist, where we help high net worth individuals go where they are treated best. Today, we're going to talk about um, a hot topic. It's a headline that has been catching attention from everybody around the world. France is proposing a new tax on wealthy, and it is 90%. You heard that right, it's 90%. I think that it is one of the highest rates in the world and it is a high jump from the year 45% at the moment. Before we dive into the methodology and the technical details of how this tax would work in the future, we can uh, briefly discuss how what's the history like with France and taxation. Even post-World War II, France had a history of increasing tax rates just to help the disadvantage and build up the society again after after the war. The same thing can be said, for example, in the UK. In the 70s, they had 83% tax, and the rationale behind that was also to help the public and uh, provide the public services uh, to the people that needed it. And uh, currently, the far-left party is also using that argument as the reason as to why 90% tax on wealthy is a good way to help economy. There are some critics to it, and I think that from the global tax taxation perspective, where you, when you can go to certain places, where you can go to where you're treated best, one country increasing and potentially talking about increasing tax on wealthy people and taxing just wealthy people is a cause for uh, high net worth individuals to potentially think about some other options and potentially think about leaving the country. And that has been historically the issue where with high, uh, high taxes, the next step is brain drain as they say, from the country where like high net worth individuals or businessmen or intelligent people who can probably build up some businesses and create some working options and opportunities for people, they just decide to leave the country and move to other place and take their business and operations to that new country. And that is a drawback of establishing this new uh, higher tax because on the one hand, you're getting the monetary power, the government is getting more money so they can use it for or like certain projects or something. But at the same time, you have some people who are living because they have some other options in some other countries. And especially now in 21st century and in recent years, we see that there are so many optionalities and there's so much freedom in moving around the world and not only moving as a person, but also moving your business. And those opportunities means that it's far easier for anybody now to, let's say, quickly move their business to a new country than maybe it was post-World post War II. There has been a lot of uh, argument and uh, conversations around this topic. This is uh, still not approved by the government. However, there is a very long discussion about that. Just to uh, give you a bigger picture, bring up a couple of examples and see how this new tax would compare to some other countries. For example, currently, the uh, UK has a 60% tax and France itself ha has 45%. In the US, it's around 37%. And it's a huge jump from these numbers to 90% tax. It is to be expected that lots of wealthy, wealthy people will be looking into other options and we do see lots of options in even in the Europe. wonder what the far left party is thinking about how to compensate that. Like it's one thing to get the money in the bank but the another thing is just seeing the businesses go out of the country and moving their operations and high net worth individuals moving their assets and they, the, themselves to new countries and to new favorable tax systems. We can dive into the mechanism of how this would look if, if they approve the new tax. It's highly likely that it will be a th threshold. For example, let's say if it's a threshold of 1 million uh, euros, any like income above that amount will be taxed at a 90% rate. And anything before that, lower than that, will be taxed, let's say, 45% or whatever is the, the rate before. So it means that potentially just holding assets or capital gains will be taxed, meaning that that if you sell your asset, it will be taxed. So net profit there. Mm -hmm. Dividends and salary, it's highly likely that it will be also taxed. And this will also depend on your income. So uh, potentially 
employ people earning millions will be affected by that, but not people who don't go into that margin. So for example, if you're earning 1 million euro, the tax is levied on that amount. It means that your take-home pay is a very, very small amount compared to the gross income that you are earning. Of course, we can expect people to really reassess their position and if it's favorable for them to stay in France and be a taxpayer in France or maybe look for other options outside of France. There's Italy, there are some other options that can find with favorable regimes where tax systems provide some benefits and advantages that you can use for your specific situation, be that personal or business tax, corporate taxation. So for example, if you're earning like let's say 3 million and the threshold for this new tax rate is 1 million, it means that the first 1 million will be taxed at a old late, a rate and the 2 million above the threshold will be taxed at a new rate of 90%. So it means that from your 2 million above the threshold, you are going to be paying 90% to the government and that is 1.8 million euros. France has recently been making headlights and we have been featuring it a bit more than usual. You can check out our other video about France potentially taxing your worldwide income. So we will be keeping an eye on how they proceed with this and if they actually pass this law. It will be interesting to see how things develop. What do you think about the 90% tax on wealthy that France is proposing? Do you think that they will pass this law? You can leave your uh, thoughts in the comment section. Even if they pass the law, uh, there are always options and here at Nomad Capitalist we offer different options for you to reduce your taxes and in this case the first thing that comes to mind is maybe Italy with its flat tax rate and thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel